Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. This is a week of my life in Indonesia celebrating Chinese New Year. We all know this is the holiday to feast. I'll be showing you all the delicious vegan food I devoured as well as the fun activities I did during the week. First thing first, I found out the cat near my house gave birth again. Stray cats overpopulation is an ongoing issue here. This is why I participate in TNR program religiously. I headed to Kamang to grab lunch at this new vegan cafe because they had a Chinese New Year promo deal going on. I ordered two dishes, total cost a little over 100k rupiah, and I got a free matcha bread and vegan fish fillet sandwich. I love scoring good deals. Without the promo deals though, I find the price too high for such small portions. I'd give it 4 stars if the price and the portion match. In the afternoon, I indulge in some cereal matcha ice cream. By the way, I realized I should stop giving business free exposure when I use my own money to buy the products. So from now on, I won't mention any brand name. I won't purposely blur it out either if it happens to be on screen. Give me free vegan food if you want me to say your name. The most significant event on Chinese New Year's Eve is the family reunion dinner. Family members are expected to return home for this annual feast. Unfortunately, in this past couple years, my mom who lives in Taiwan hasn't been able to join us. Hopefully, we will be able to reunite as a whole family next year. I never really looked into the traditions before, I just know that during Chinese New Year, as long as I'm not married, I can always get red envelope. Bye bye! Gongxi, gongxi. This year, I learned so many interesting superstitions that kind of make sense, such as keeping the lights at home turned on until sunrise. It represents a bright year ahead. You should also avoid washing your hair. If you must wash it, you have to dry it before midnight. Otherwise, going into the new year with a wet head will bring a lot of illness. Staying up late on New Year's Eve is said to bring longevity to our parents. What a great excuse to stay up and watch two of my current favorite animes. <laughs> Happy Chinese New Year! I'm wearing red to match with today's theme. Red symbolizes wealth and good fortune. Another new thing I learned is the first meal on the first day of Chinese New Year should be vegetarian. It stems from Chinese wordplay, so eating vegetarian is called chi zai. It sounds like chi zai, so you are eating away and preventing any unfortunate or tragedy events. So why not just go vegan and be in peace for eternity though? <laughs> Your breath smells things. Asian dolce latte with oat milk. I just did a full makeup and oh my god, I can take your girls easily if I want to. I'm sorry for being so narcissist, but I'm handsome as. Oh no, oh no, the powder. After getting ready, me and my dad headed out to enjoy the day. First, we stopped by this cute ice cream shop just to take a look. Surprisingly, they have vegan options. Vegan oat milk ice cream. Then we went to clean and decorate the grave of my grandparents. Of course, the best place to visit during Chinese New Year is Chinatown. We spent most of the time just walking around and enjoying the festive sceneries.
walking over 10,000 steps with my dad, we finally sat down at this popular dumpling restaurant to have dinner. All the vegan friendly dishes I had here taste so good. Almond milk based dark chocolate mousse. When I got home, I did a taste test of this vegan chocolate mousse that I ordered online. And holy cow. On the second day, we didn't do much. We just had dinner together as a family. If my grandma was still alive, today would be her 100th birthday. On the third day, we flew to Bali, the island where I had my heart broken recently. Just when I thought I have already healed completely, being back here sparked those memories and feelings again. Regardless, Bali is still one of my homes and I am so grateful to be back here. First thing after I landed, I went to have dinner at this newly opened vegetarian restaurant near the airport. The best thing about coming back here is reuniting with my fur babies. On to my second day in Bali, I started the day with these delicious vegan pork belly buns. Then I hung out with my brother, we had lunch at my favorite beach club. After lunch, we headed to Indonesia's first offline NFT gallery. It's crazy that just six months ago, I couldn't understand why people would pay large amount of money for some JPEG. But now I truly believe this is the future. Later in the evening, there was the big event we all flew to Bali for. The 11th anniversary event for Courtyard Bali Nusa Dua Resort. The event began with an epic lion dance performance. Lion dance is one of the major traditions at Chinese New Year. The lion symbolizes power, wisdom, and superiority. It is performed to bring good fortune and chase away evil spirits. The playful lions would walk around to interact with the audience. This is when you can give them money in a red envelope as payment for the good blessing. Next on the agenda is cake cutting. We got to enjoy dinner while watching the hotel employees at each department perform.
after the event, we had one full day to chill in Bali. So me and my brother went to a shooting range. We went with the bundle package, so we got to fire four different types of guns. Wow. Of course, I had to make a stop at my favorite vegan restaurant in Changgu. Go check out my one week Changgu vlog if you haven't. <laughs> Last stop of today, spa appointment at the hotel. Oh my gosh, that massage was so heavenly and orgasmic. You might need a handsome boy. Bang bang, I love you. On to my last day, it was time to say goodbye to my kids again. Good boy. I am aware of my privilege. That's why I adopt as many pets as I can. Beautiful Coco. It's so pretty. Love you on. Now that I'm 30, I finally found my true purpose of being on this earth, which is to help reduce animal suffering in a world run by selfish humans. This is why I TNR stray cats, why I preach adopt don't shop, and why I go vegan. Home sweet home. Back to my kids in Jakarta. Hey Jordan. Hey Nezuko. Hey Tofu. That was hands down the best fight scenes in the history of anime. Thank you UFO Table for creating such masterpiece. I feel so blessed to be alive to witness that scene. It was god tier god tier level of animation go watch demon slayer if you haven't don't miss out watch it while you're still alive thank you so much for watching for more similar vegan food content check out my vegan in indonesia playlist please support me by giving this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't also turn on notification alerts so no one upload a new video see you